Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Chalula's Comics. It's been a minute, and I really should have done this a while ago, but I'm going to be going over my East Coast Comic Con experience. Um, going to show a quick little haul uh, as far as like uh, what I picked up over there. Not too much over there. Um, got a couple of quick shout outs and thank yous to some folks who have done some acts of kindness and just thought about me and given me some books and a uh, three haul little book CBCS haul. Uh, so first, actually, let me start off with um, recently I picked up DC Shazam. This is the IMAX AMC special edition and I got two copies and really cool story is actually um, uh, a buddy of mine from work. Her son gave these to me. Um, and I really love when he comes over uh, Toot is my little homie. Um, every time I see him at work, it's always it's always a cool little surprise. And he comes in and we get to talk about comics and we get to talk about comic movies. And he's uh, really good. In a, he's in basketball and he's doing a really good job in basketball. So it's always a nice little surprise when Toot shows up. And it's an even cooler surprise when he brings gifts. Like, isn't that nice of him? So just wanted to give a thank you and a shout out to Toot Man for hooking me up with these um, Shazam copies. Not one, but two. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'm taking one back to work so I can keep one displayed at work and I can keep one in my collection at home. So uh, thank you very much for that, my homie, too. All right. Next stuff that I got at uh, East Coast Comic Con. First and foremost, I got this um, Fantastic Four number 645. It's a Desert Wind Comics um, reprint and it's signed by Joe Sanat. So I got to meet Joe Sanat, got a couple of books signed by him, submitted some books I am actually, I think I just might have submitted one book, and here's the um, certificate of authenticity for him. Um, and man, the guy is 19 years old, he's still drawing, he still has a beautiful signature. Um, he's really nice, he's a really cool dude. So, um, I was happy to pick this up. Actually, my boy AG, AG is the one that put me onto this. Um, he was like, Yo, when you go back to the table, hook me up with a copy, and I was like, Yeah, I will, and I'm gonna get me one myself. So, happy to pick that up and add that to my collection. Um, next huge, huge, huge freaking shout out to Murph, uh, amazing Murphinator who hooked me up with these. This is the Batman who laughs. Number one, this is the, I believe this is the Schneider variant. And here's number two. These are the, uh, cover bees. So I was looking for these and he was just like, oh yeah, I got them. No worries. They're yours. Um, not only that, but he hooked me up with something else, which I ended up submitting, uh, and I will show later and I will give a whole nother separate thank you to. And it was just really cool hanging out with them and uh, getting to meet him in, in person. I like uh, I'm involved in this little chat with him and a couple other folks, uh, a couple of folks in the community. So finally getting to meet Murph uh, in person and hang out with him. And let me tell you, we had a <laughs> we had a good little good little time here and I um it was fun man it was really cool um it was really cool dude stand-up guy um so thanks Murph, man i appreciate it all right next um this is a book that i decided not to submit it's my marvel milestone edition it is uh invincible iron man number 55 first appearance of thanos um but you know it's the marvel milestone edition but i got um starling to sign it there so eh, i don't know maybe what do you guys think should i have submitted it it's I pressed it. It's not like in the best, best condition. It's not terrible either, though. I think these are kind of going up in value, especially now for the movies. I could probably press to give it another press and try to get that out. But I mean, this was actually not a great copy at all. It, the press helped it a whole lot. I mean, it really did. Um, it's it's actually not a terrible looking copy now that I'm giving it a second look. But yeah, it's got some color breaking spine ticks. I, I'm just glad to have it, have it in my collection and have a uh, Starlin Sig, Sig on it. Um, I'm trying to get away from <laughs> submitting everything that I get signed. I'm kind of hooked on that. I'm not, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Everything I end up getting signed, I usually end up getting, uh, I usually submit. Um, try not to do that as much. So I decided to hold back on that one. All right. Next, I got, uh, I met Andrew Aiden, who uh, was the author on this book called March, um, which was the story of John, uh, Senator John Lewis. Um, and this is another book that he did, Martin Luther King and the Story of Montgomery. But this one really stuck out to me. I really liked the cover art. He was the one that wrote this, except that this is the Spanish edition. And I just thought that that was like a really like niche group, like a really niche, co like niche, like kind of a comic. So I don't know. I picked it up. I know it's not everyone's like cup of tea or like the first thing that they think of when they think of comics, but it was really cool. It was different. And I 
I thought it was awesome. So I had met the guy, super nice guy. He signed my other book, um, which was a gift for somebody else. He knows who he is. And uh, he signed this one for me and I picked it up for five bucks. You know, no, no big deal. Uh, next, let me see. I'm, I was going to take this out, but I'm not. Uh, I'm actually not going to do that. I got, so I actually prepped this for Ron Lim. Ron Lim's a local guy. He's out of Sacramento. Nicest guy ever. Um, you know, Lim, they had the whole uh, uh, Infinity Gauntlet uh, cast there. I mean, cast. They had the whole team there. You know, Ron Lim was there. Drew Rubenstein, uh, George Perez, Jim Starlin. They were all there. All those guys were there. Um, and actually, like I said, he's a local guy here in Northern California. So I get to see him all the time. He's really nice. He's really cool. He remembers me. This is one of the first times I ever met Ron Lim. We were at a panel at uh, Santa Clara Library Comic Con. And I had just gotten back from coaching my son's little uh, little league big game. And so we were out in the sun all day. And so I, I don't think my son was able to hang anymore during the panel. And he fell asleep. So me, Ron, his son, my daughter, Elisa, we went over there. At first, one of the pictures was we were trying to do bunny ears. But his head was like so low that we couldn't do it. Um, but anyway, so I had Ron sign two copies of the picture. He signed this one. And this one he actually signed to Jonathan Best, Ron Lim down here. So I got, I'm going to end up framing this one later. Um, and I, I also uh, gave Ron two copies um, and I signed one out to him from our family. So I don't know. That was kind of cool. He, I always get to see him, his, his son and his wife at, um, at cons. And she's a really nice lady too. So it was, um, it was cool to see them out there, you know, and they were like surprised, like, Hey, what are you doing way out here in the East coast? You know, it was, it was kind of cool. Anyways. All right. Next. I got the Superman Wedding Album. Uh, I got Brett Breeding to sign this. There were a couple other folks that were there that worked on it. Uh, Perez worked on it. Uh, Rubenstein worked on it. Um, I want to say Danny Fingerroth did. I forget. But there's there's a lot of people on this book, man. And it's a white cover. It's a nice looking book. Um, this is going to be one of my project books going forward. Um, I'm probably going to get a bunch of folks on this. And I'm glad that Brett Breeding did it right in the middle on the Superman S in red. It came out really nice. Um, nice guy um yeah that's it oh i got one more book from the con this is uh of course the famous death of superman book um and brett breeding signed it here i didn't want to pop the bag open i don't know i like it in the in the in the poly i think it looks cool it's different and I'm, I'm not gonna get this book graded ever so i kept it in the poly and brett breeding signed it there in silver and he's another one of those guys that he takes pride in his signature it's a nice looking sig and um yeah, so these this is the set of books that I got from East Coast Comic Con that I did not submit. There's a whole ton of books that I got signed by uh, Rubenstein, by Ron Lim, by Starlin, uh, by George Perez, um, uh, a couple other folks that were there. Uh, oh, man, I'm blanking on his name right now. Oh, it'll come to me later. But a bunch of other books that I did get signed um, and I submitted to CBCS. So I'm waiting on those. That'll be a whole separate video. Um, and I'll try to talk more, a little bit more about the con on that video. Um, but just wanted to show off, uh, these few books, give my thank yous to the guys that I met out there, you know, big shout out to the warriors, a uh, bunch of cool dudes that I met out there. Uh, shout out Manny NYC, you know, Biggs, Marky, Jeff Johnson, the mayor, the mayor, you know, Joker, uh, Joker, i 21. He's a good dude. And uh, Big Lion Cat, <laughs> Big Lion Cat, me and him, well, all of us went out to dinner after uh, after the con and, uh, you know, just did it up at uh, across the street at Buffalo Wild Wings. So that was fun, man. Uh, it was a cool experience, uh, except for Manny. Manny didn't make it. I hooked up with Manny another day. And big, huge shout out to, to the homie Carlos Silos. Um, having, you know, he hasn't been doing a lot of YouTube stuff lately, but solid ass cat, man. Um, all right. That's it. Anyway, so that's my East Coast Comic Con, comic con haul. That is the books that I got from two, the homie from work. Um, this is a quick little uh, pickups. I just wanted to show off. Uh, been picking these up. Deceased. This is number one. Here is uh, number two. I believe this is the Matina variant. I'm, I'm really liking the Matina variants. And also the, uh, the horror variants. So the horror variants are going to be like, they're basically like based off of like uh, movie posters from like horror movies. So this one obviously is in like the theme of it, Stephen King's it. Here's deceased number two. I actually haven't started reading it yet, but it reminds me a lot like of the look and feel of Marvel Zombies. So, you know, 
that's my thug right there is Marvel Zombies. Here's the Matina number two, which is uh, Superman. And here is the horror variant number two, which is in the, um, it's kind of like in the style of Nightmare on Elm Street, right? Like the Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, what do you call it? Um, movie poster. All right, let me move these over real quick. And I got maybe three more books to show and then a couple of, uh, a couple of slapped books. Batman Who Laughs, number five. I'm trying to complete that collection. Again, shout out to Murph who started me on the road to getting those picked up and completed and done. Here's cover B. I kind of like cover B. It's it's weird looking. It's like, I don't know, not quite abstract, but it's, it's different. I like it. It's weird. And I've been collecting these more so for my wife than anyone. She's the Star Wars fan. She's into Vader, so... Here's number three, and I heard this was actually a good story. Haven't popped it open yet to read it, but um, I heard that that one's kind of a like a funny, even funny story. And there's number four. All right. Okay, so that's it for the raw books. I got a couple of, uh, actually, I got three uh, slab books to show off. So recently, CBCS had this promotion uh, stating that if you send your books in in this certain time period, I think they gave you like two weeks tops, right? Gather, gather 10 books together. It had to be a minimum of 10 books. Send it to us in the certain time period. And they were guaranteeing 10 business day turnaround time. I got to tell you, I was a little skeptical. I was like, man, really? Can they do this? Are you are you guys sure you can do this? Um, so I got my books together. I got I actually hooked up with my buddy. Uh, big shout out to Gomez. Gomez Comic Collector. That's the homie. You know, he's right here down the street from me. Another local uh, Bay Area dude. Um, you know, good dude. That's the homie right there. Uh, so me and him hooked up. He had a nice little uh, stack that he wanted to turn in. And in order to complete the, the stack, I needed to to submit a couple of books myself. Just he had a he had a nice little stack, I think, of eight books or something like that. So I had to complete it, uh, complete the order. So what I submitted was. This is Justice League America number one. It is the Lobo Francesco Matina Lobo variant. Too close up on this camera and there's half a glare and it's the uh, virgin variant with the stogie on his mouth red eyes and actually i didn't know until i got it back that it's actually uh, a cover swipe of uh, lobo number one and it came back a nine four. Oh man you can't even see that huh hold on a second i'll show the grade real quick right there so it came back a nine four i did press it and clean it myself before uh, it got sent out um there's a couple of little color breaking spine ticks, but you know, it's a dark cover and you're going to get that. So it's cool, man. I'm happy with that. It, it came back to look nice. And CBCS um, didn't do it within 10 days. They did it within seven business days. So that was really amazing. That's a quick ass turnaround time. You know, like I was super excited by that. And we got our books back. I think we got our books back within 10 days or 12 at the most. But I don't know, man, that shit, that was amazing. All right, here's the second book that I submitted. Green Lantern number 55. This is the Mankey Retailer Incentive Variant. Uh, again, with the main man right there. I'm feeling the main man right now because June is my birthday month. And my birthday book is Omega Man number three, which is the first appearance of Lobo. And it's funny because I started collecting Lobo as a little kid, not knowing anything about um, birthday books or anything like that. And uh, and it was just it was just fun. I liked Lobo. He was He's always been a character that I've liked. And then boom... Come to find out as an adult, hey, I'm researching my birthday book and freaking Lobo, the main man is my is my uh, birthday book. So now he's like even more like I like him even more, you know, so I'm I'm happy to have this book. I've had this book in my collection for a little while. It took me a while to hunt it down. I've been wanting it for a long time um, and I thought this was a great opportunity to send it in and get slabbed. Um, so I, I it had some like dirt here and that was it. Yeah, I just had a little bit of dirt here that I cleaned off the cover um it was bent it had some like a little bit of defect down down in this bottom corner so i pressed it out and look at happy to say came back a nine eight that's amazing sometimes you know it's it's, it's cool to learn uh, learn something and and work on your stuff and send it in and get good grades on it and see have it see, see it pay off you know what i mean so um those are the two books that i send in to like complete the order to fulfill the the minimum of 10 required um but you know like i was saying gomez is the homie He's such a good dude, man. Huge shout out to him that uh, he submitted two copies of Batgirl number three, the Joshua Middleton, uh, the Joshua Middleton variant. This is a hot book uh, and it's a book that I've been wanting. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to snag one off the shelf when they came out, 
Um, and to be honest, I haven't been wanting to pay the prices for it. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm a cheapskate, guys. Um, but Gomez is a good dude, and he was just like, yo, I, I graded two. Um, here's yours. You can just have it. And I'm really thankful. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm really thankful to have this book in my in my collection. It's an amazing piece of art. Like, that girl looks dope on this. Um, it came back a 9-4. I mean, what more can you ask for? It's a 9-4. It's, it's a beautiful looking book. I think it even has room for improvement. I didn't press... I didn't have time to press them all because we had to send them in during a, a certain amount of time. It's got a couple of pressable defects there. If I ever feel like it, I can bust it out and break it. But I'm cool, man. This is beautiful. This is my personal collection. I'm not selling this. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm not flipping this. This is for me to display up on my back wall like I like to do. Here, let me show you guys real quick. Look at As a matter of fact, I got two holes right there missing because that's where the two Lobo books are right there. I got my Lobo number two, my Omega Man right there, and the two Lobo books that are missing. You know, this is all for me to display. This is all, this is all my stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I'm not a flipper. I'm not a seller. I, I just, I collect to collect for me. So I'm so happy to have this book and these books in my collection. Big shout out to Gomez. Big shout out to all the homies on the East Coast for meeting you guys uh, so recently. And like I said, you guys already know what it is. It's been a minute. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Keep stacking hell comics.